disease sometimes caused by self-centeredness. Would you believe it? A childless house is a desolate place. Oh, oh, Moyo, you're in trouble. She is not talking to me on this one. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome again. Moi Michel here. Today's topic Disease that begin in the mind. Let's just get in. By the way, that's part number four. Part number four. Disease sometimes caused by self-centeredness. Would you believe it? You know what's interesting is that um, I wonder if that has something to do with centering prayer. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. But man, would you believe it? Many are diseased physically, mentally, and morally because their attention is turned almost exclusively to themselves. They might be saved from stagnation by the healthy vitality of younger and varying minds and the restless energy of children. Ooh. Let's see, what else do we have? Actually, that's from Testimony for the Church, Volume 2, page 647. Very few realize the benefits of the care, responsibility, and experience that children bring to the family. Very few. A childless house is a desolate place. Oh, oh, Mario, you're in trouble. The hearts of the, of the inmates are in danger of becoming selfish, of cherishing a love for their own ease and consulting their own desires and conveniences. They gather sympathy to themselves but have little to bestow upon others. Care and affection for dependent ch children removes the roughness from our natures, makes us tender and sympathetic, and has an influence to develop the nobler elements of our character. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 2, page 647. She is not talking to me on this one. Amen. Now I'm drinking. I'm joking. Um, I know one time my mom asked me, um, Mario, um, basically, how many children would you want to have? And I'm like, um, maybe, what, maybe four, maximum four, not more than that, you know? And, uh, but I can guarantee you, I'm not too sure if I am ready for that. But, thank God, that first part of being self-centered, I am not, I'm, I'm hoping I am not like that. Um, I'm hoping I'm not like that. 
But would you believe it that being self-centered can actually cause you to be sick? I, true, man. I didn't know that was such a case. But I guess it is possible to have that. And it is true in many marriages now, people come with that me mentality, especially the women of modern women. It's me and me and me and me and me. I mean, that's what we get nowadays. So, Anyways, let's move on. So we go from self-centeredness that can bring diseases to depressing emotions injurious to health. Depre I wonder depression how big it is today. Hmm. It is the duty of everyone to cultivate cheerfulness instead of brooding over sorrow and troubles. I can guarantee you. There are many troubles in my life, yet I can tell you, I am happy as I am. Things bad happen, I tell God, please teach me not to complain. It's just how life works sometimes. Many not only make themselves wretched in this way, but they sacrifice health and happiness to to a morbid imagination. There are things in this in their surroundings that are not agreeable and their countenances wear a continual frown that more plainly than words expresses discontent. These depressing emotions are a great injury to them to them health-wise, for by hindering the process of digestion, they interfere with nutrition. Would you believe it that depression can interfere digestion? To all my nursing students and to all my um, future doctors, to all my future nutritionists, dietitians, dietitians is that what they call it anyways? Depression, uh, depressing emotions are a great injury to them, to people, health-wise, for by hindering the process of the just digestion, they interfere with nutrition. Um, depressing emotion interferes with digestion which prohibits nutrition. No, actually, no, 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 no. Depressing, let me say it again. Depressing emotions hinders or hinder the process of digestion which in turn interfere with nutrition. So, how do you want to feel? Depressed? Or would you rather have a bad digestion? Which one do you want? You're always mad? Oh, actually, hold on. I'm not done yet with the paragraph. While grief and anxiety cannot remedy a single evil, they can do great harm, but cheerfulness and hope, while they brighten the pathway of others, are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Proverbs 4 verse 22. Saturday times, February 12, 1885. Flash news! I got news for you today. When I was younger, they used to call me 
VV because I would be smiling way too much. Turns out that I was actually practicing Proverbs 4 verse 22. Interesting. People took it as a, a way to look at me in a down way. And I even, actually, back in my country we call that um, bullying or making fun of somebody. And I would take that and laugh at it. What that does is it gives me, one, a reason to laugh more. Two, a reason for them to stop trying to make fun of me because it wouldn't get into my head. And guess what? I didn't care. I still smiled as much as I wanted to. Even today, I still do. But yes, I learned. I got. I, I became older, and I got to understand more. But think about it: the more you smile, the more you laugh, the more gay you are. Not the the bad version of gay. The the good one. The original version, which is cheerful, happy, elated. The more of that you are, the better your life is gonna be. You get better digestion and better nutrition. You don't get depression. You don't. You know, if you smile, you are not actually self-centered because it gives to people some reason to smile as well. It's kind of interesting. But anyways, let's move on. I kind of like that part too. I think we're almost done with the whole chapter. Actually, no, we're not. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. We're gonna stop right here. In treating sick, study minds, meaning like when you when you're trying to, to when you're trying to um to um to heal to heal the sick, you need to study the minds. Okay. So. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna. Whoo! That better. In treatment of the sick, the effect of mental influence should not be overlooked. Rightly used. This influence affords one of the most effective agencies for combating disease. Ministry of Healing, page 241. That's pretty straightforward. I'm not even going to comment on that one. So, that was Mario Michel. I hope to see you again. But if I don't see you again, I hope to see you when Jesus Christ comes the second time. Hopefully, yes, in heaven. Until then, bye for now. Mario out.